This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Mole Man as part of the Content Creator Program, and we're going to be taking a first look at him. Now, I haven't had a lot of time to really get into him. I've watched uh, one video on him. I didn't even know that the embargo lifted immediately because I was going for Mojo in the arena. When I do that, I have that tunnel vision. I go all out and I don't do much of anything else but that arena. All right, so let's take a look at his attributes here. Now, one thing that I thought was really funny, his size is XL, but if you look at the uh, profile of him, he's small, but it's because he gets uh, on, I forget what the name is uh, of who he's riding, because um, he has a name, I just don't remember, um, but that's what makes him XL. All right, and let's take a look here. So the block proficiency, right off the bat, not good. You want a block proficiency uh, to be over 60%, ideally. 56%, not good. All right, and you can see the rest there. Crit damage, when he hits, he's going to hit hard. All right, let's take a look at his synergies. His first synergy while unstoppable, basic attacks have a plus 50% critical hit chance. Okay. Next one increases the duration of monster mass while frenzy by 10%. Now this one is useful, but look at who you have to bring along. I'm not a fan of either one of these champions, but I know man thing uh, has some situations where he's good as well, but I didn't even want to go for him in the arena and I didn't. And then you've got here, Fantastic Friends. While frenzied, Mole Man's attacks lower defensive ability accuracy by 50%, but when fighting against the Fantastic Four. So not quite so useful. If that had not been limited to the Fantastic Four or those who have the tag Fantastic Four, I would have been a lot more interested in that synergy. And then finally, at the end, just some crit rating, and you have the Fantastic Four. So, out of those, I saw only the one that increased the duration of his monster mass. Uh, that's the only one that seemed interesting. All right, let's take a look at his abilities here. So, his SIG ability makes him have a mechanic like Hulk. You know how Hulk, the lower his health, the harder he hits, that's what his signature ability does. He's going to get more crit damage rating and he's going to get more attack rating while unstoppable, the lower his health goes. So nice to have more damage, but I don't know if I would say he needs to be awakened. Now he's shock immune. Uh, there it is. There's the name. Giganto Jr. That's the name of who he rides. Uh, tough Monster Hide does not conduct electricity, granting immunity to shock effects. While Frenzy is not active, and we'll talk about that Frenzy a little bit later, and Mole Man is below five monster mass. We'll also talk about the monster masses. Uh, Mole Man's heightened senses allow him to predict his opponent's movements, granting him true accuracy. That means he's going to ignore all evade and auto block effects. That is actually pretty useful. Okay, that gives him some utility. He will be able to deal with those annoying evaders and auto block champions. All right, his critical hits, when he does crit, he's going to put a bleed on him. Guaranteed. Now, that also means that going up against champions that are bleed immune is going to hurt his damage. It also means that Deep Wounds, Mastery, 
is a great one to get with him. All right. And then he's going to also deal energy damage if the opponent is suffering from a shock debuff. All right. Now let's talk about this monster mass passive. All right. So he's going to be gaining these things called monster mass. And each of these monster mass uh, charges is going to add physical resistance. So that kind of makes up for that low block proficiency. Anytime you see someone with a low block proficiency, chances are it's going to be somewhat addressed in some of their abilities. Now, whether that means effectively um, it works out, that's another story. All right. So you want more monster mass. All right. Um, so let's see, you have a hundred percent chance to gain, uh, when you're inflicted with a debuff. So I run suicides all the time. That's two debuffs. So that means that at the start of the fight, I'm going to have two monster masses. So look for that when we go in against winter soldier. Okay. Um, it's going to be a reduced chance if I'm fighting a mutant champion. 15 stacks is the max monster mass that you can have. Debuffs are purified one second after. Okay? So that means the poison debuff, the bleed debuff, they're going to go bye-bye. So that makes him somewhat suicide friendly. He may not have that immunity, but he's going to shrug off that debuff. At five monster mass or above, this time is decreased to 0.5. All right, now blocking is going to give him an unstoppable buff. That's going to be useful. All right, and now it does remove one monster mass, so you don't want to block a lot because you're trying to build up your monster masses. Uh, and you'll see why in a, in a moment here. Uh, you're also going to gain 75% chance to resist a block break. If you know about the stand your ground mastery, that's what this is doing, and it looks like it'll do it far more effectively than that mastery. But you have to have at least one monster mass active, and remember, you're going to be losing one uh, when you take a blocked hit. Uh, now, here, it even addresses it. Um, I mentioned uh, stand your ground. Adding points into stand your ground mastery also increases this chance, so they stack. All right. Um, if the chance to resist a block break is raised to 100%, this ability also resists unblockable hits. That could be interesting. That could be a little useful. Resisting an unblockable or a block break removes all monster mass. So you're only going to do it one time, and then you're going to have to build up those monster masses again. All right. And you also gain one if a debuff fails to apply due to an immunity. So that means for him, shock immune. So if someone tries to shock me, hello, doom, then I'm going to gain a monster mass instead. And I don't know if this is going to work in Alliance War. If you put him on like a debuff immune node, that might work as well. All right. Now let's talk about this frenzy and why you want to build up your monster mass. When you're above five monster masses, you will activate an unstoppable effect um, and activate frenzy, which means all of your hits are guaranteed to be criticals. Remember each crit has a guaranteed bleed. So you're going to be critting and bleeding like crazy. All right. Um, it also activates when you reach max. So you got at five above five. So I guess when you hit six, um, it will go into frenzy. But if you also hit 15, you're going to go into frenzy. During Frenzy, none of the monster masses can be removed. So you can block and do all that good stuff while you're frenzied. But they will expire 1.2 seconds and debuffs can no longer be purified. Uh, after monster mass falls to zero, you have a cooldown of 15 seconds before you can go frenzied again. Heavy attacks will give you one monster mass. If you're frenzied and you do a heavy attack, 
uh, you're going to get extra attack rating based on missing health. That's not tied to your um, signature ability. That's just if you're frenzied, you fire the heavy attack off, you're getting more damage. Special attack one will give you two monster masses and it'll inflict a shock debuff. Special attack two, each hit has plus 500 critical damage rating. This attack gains up to 967 attack rating based on missing health. And if you're frenzied, it pauses the unstoppable and is unblockable. So what that means is that if you're in frenzy mode and you block, activate an unstoppable, and then fire the special two off, it's going to be unblockable, and the unstoppable is going to be paused. And finally, special attack three, you're going to gain 10 monster mass and become frenzied if it's not on cooldown. So if you have five monster masses already, and you fire your special three off, you'll hit max, but special three is already going to make you frenzied. So kind of a waste, it looks like to me. Uh, so... What I would probably do is if I had five or less, that's when I want to fire off my special attack three. Otherwise, I want to go frenzied, then wait until the frenzied is done and the cooldown is over after 15 seconds and then fire my special three, go frenzied again, and in that way, maybe keep frenzied for longer. All right, so we're going to go into Realm of Legends and play around with Winter Soldier and see what we can do with this Mole Man. All right, let's dive in here. Uh, you can see the Synergy team that I went in here with, Daredevil and Man-Thing, uh, in case you've already forgotten. Uh, let's take a look at the Synergies. This first one, while unstoppable, basic attacks are going to have 50% increased critical hit chance and this one is going to increase the duration of monster mass while frenzied by 10 percent all right so let's dive in here i don't know how useful that's going to be but it seems like uh having that last longer is a good thing all right no we do not want to auto fight all right this is the first time I'm actually going in here uh, fighting with Mole Man. All right, I'm unstoppable. Okay. That unstoppable caught me by surprise. So I was like, hey, wait a minute. All right, here's a special one. There we go. And we'll build up to a special two. Um, I noticed that the uh, debuffs from my suicides are gone. And we've got three of the monster masses. All right. Man, that block, even the parry, seems to take a lot of damage. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fire some heavies off. I don't know what just happened. It locked up a little bit on me. Um, I got a little lag here. All right, get some heavies in. All right. Here we go. All right. Look at that. That bleed went bye-bye. All right, let's build up to a special three. All right. Now we're on cooldown for 15 seconds. So let's build up to that a little bit more. Let's get a few of these in. Okay, we can fire it off at any time now, but I want to get to uh, five so that when we fire off the uh, special three, it'll give us 15. 
One more heavy. All right. Let's see what we got. That should make us go frenzied. Yeah. Hit him. Dang. Wow. Wouldn't even let him fall to the ground. All right. So look at this. That's the big boy damage that you're seeing now. Every hit. Look at the bleeds. But as usual. Good old Winter Soldier. Likes to play passive. All right. So that was that. That was not bad. That was not bad damage. And as I was saying, he's somewhat suicide friendly because what I can do at this point is cycle my special threes. And I won't take any recoil damage. All right. Let me uh, get a few heavies off. Let's look at that bleed. And I do not have uh, deep wounds. All right, that took away one of the monster masses. There we go. I don't want to do that. I'm just trying to build up to five again. And that took it away again. You'll notice every time I take a blocked hit like that, it uh, takes away one of the monster masses. Okay, let's get one more. Let's bait out of one thing. Okay. Come on. Ah. Took away one again. All right, there we go. Now, ooh, got the 20% perfect bonus, uh, perfect damage. And see, after this special three, that's when you want to go ham. Um, and building up to five, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Come on. But um, building up to five just gives you more time in your frenzy. All right. And see, now it's done. So we're back on cooldown. 15 seconds. Whew. He's just going to keep on hitting me with that. But in a minute, a few seconds, we're going to be able to fire it off again. <laughs> All right, here we go. That should give us 10 monster masses. And of course, you'll see it counting down. Douche. All right. All right. So we got a few licks in here. You see, it doesn't last as long. There we go. Boogie woogie. Come on. Give it up. Come on. Come on. Fire it off. Don't be shy. You can get a little closer with Arid Extra Dry. All right. Bait out another one. Come on. Yeah, if you have deep wounds, that's going to be awesome. Ah, did not want to get hit. For some reason, I'm not... Judging the uh, distances too well, taking too many blocked hits, and his block proficiency, as you can see, is horrible. Boom. Boom. Like you're playing volleyball. All right, let's get some of these in. Mm hmm. Knew he was going to do that. Oops, my fault. All right. Yeah, not impressed by Mole Man, but the damage, pretty decent. 
but not as good as many others. So, and that block proficiency, fight took long, and the block proficiency meant he took a lot of damage. I mean, I took some hits, you know, 20 hits here, but he should have had a lot more uh, health. Most other champions that I would go in here with would have more health. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it, guys, for this first look. Uh, not not too impressive, but maybe we'll learn something. A lot of champions weren't impressive before, like Human Torch. I did not care for Human Torch when he first came out, and my first look video on him wasn't impressed, but he's got his place. So maybe Mole Man will as well. All right, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.